Is this gonna be the intro? No. Welcome back to another episode of Pub Crew Podcast. As you can tell, I'm pushing all my peas as much as I can onto this microphone. Uh, except for that one, because that's a first sound. It's not a All right, cut the applause. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. All right. It's not All right. A first sound. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Pub Crew. I'm Ryan. That's Vic. Hey, hello. Hope you like that lovely yeah. second intro. <laughs> no, that's the actual intro, right? Because there's yeah. like the, the pre cum and then the. the Yeah, the pre cum and, and then, then the, there's a, the. 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 the, the, the the product of oh, that's the one of ejaculation. Call. That's gonna be my uh, my MC name. <laughs> <laughs> the product of ejaculation. <laughs> nice. No, thank you. Nice. <laughs> <But> anyways, <laughs> we hope you've been having a great week. How's your week been, man? Well, being the product of ejaculation, I feel like I'm doing for fairly well. Nice. Know? That's good to hear. Been trying new things, lifestyles. That's great. Nice. Can I talk about it on the show? <laughs> yeah, sure. You can talk about what we can talk about whatever we want on the show. It's our show. That's not true. Milo wouldn't approve. Well, you know what? Milo would have to see it first. <laughs> I think we're safe. I tried a nasal lavage today. Oh damn. It's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> Might not sound big to all of you, <laughs> but it was an experience for me as someone who's never done that. And it mm-hmm. was, let me tell you, yeah. life changing. And that sounds really close to something that like you shouldn't do in, <laughs> in a sex act. I, I'm trying I'm to gonna, nasal a vag here. I'm not gonna lie to you. When the, cause I went to the doctor, right? She's like, I got really bad allergies, so I was like, I'm gonna get this looked at. And it was just like a, yeah, you got really bad allergies. Yeah, and you I'm were like, right. Yeah, doc was like, I'm doctor now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck else you want me to tell you? I'm like, help. <laughs> Of course, he gave me some sinus meds, but he was like, uh, you should try a nasal lavage. And I go, Doc, I I, I don't think I disclosed that at the beginning of this. I, I don't think I'm into that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm new, open to new avenues, but I don't know. And he goes, what the fuck? Just, no, it, clean, it cleans your nose. And I go, can I get a diagram? And old Dr. Faction, like, literally, click, click, big screen. Nice. <laughs> Here's the lavage. Yeah. Here's what it does. <laughs> Pump saline water through one and pumps it out the other. It just cleans it all out. And I was like, oh, that sounds intense. Yeah, it's not the lavage people have a hard time finding. It's a look clear. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't appreciative of my humor. <laughs> just wanted me to get the fuck out. Oh, man. Doctors, <laughs> great. doctors need to get a sense of humor. I'm not going to lie. He was, you could tell he didn't want to break it. But mm-hmm. he was, it was it's cool guy. <laughs> nice. It's cool guy, but he was definitely trying to be like, just the fuck up. Just get, yeah. Get up. <laughs> I'm gonna paid enough for this. I'm like, yes, you do. <laughs> I get paid a lot for this. Yeah. Charge my insurance for my lame ass mm-hmm. jokes. Yeah. But yeah, so I tried that, and let me tell you, it was an experience, and it nice. was it's fucking weird. I almost died the first time because <laughs> like it felt weird. Yeah. And then I laughed at myself. Looking at because I did in the mirror, right? To make sure I had it right. Yeah. And I, <laughs> and I went, whoa. <laughs> well, I don't know what does what when you laugh. So it closed my nose. <laughs> and I went, huh. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's God, God. <laughs> Poor mission. Yeah. I was like, let's try that again. Yeah. <laughs> and then I got it. I had to loosen the sphincter. Yeah. That, was, that was the trick. Loosen the sphincter and. It'll be an enjoyable yeah. experience. Speaking of losing the sphincter, what are we drinking today? <laughs> I'm done with that. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> in, in honor of my uh, new findings today, Shiner Brewer's Pride, double aged, double bock. A beer brewed in collaboration with Garrison Brothers Distillery. It is a 12%. Nice. From Shiner. Nice. Nice. Uh, Spotsil Brewery, Shiner, Texas. And this is a pint. We'll split it. Sick. I've been to find the last one of these. It was cool. Don't fuck yeah, this up cool. over the equipment. Fuck it. 
Oh, because it's bubbling. You see that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fantastic. Just try to... Let's stop bubbling. Stop. <laughs> Thought it was going to climax. Boom. Wow. Yeah, I have not had to do anything crazy like that. Uh, my week's been pretty fucking chill. I threw up yesterday, but <laughs> it wasn't like a sick throw up. It was yeah. just like a throw up throw up. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? You, you never had like uh, a throw up throw up? Throw up yesterday. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Um, I <laughs> think it's just what I ate because I feel good. Like, I felt good. It was just like. Hey, you gotta go throw up now. And I'm like, uh, I need to go on break. I'm gonna go throw up now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, are you good? Yeah, you gotta go throw up. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. And then I like I, it, it was fun. It was fine. <laughs> I don't think anybody anybody's ever said a throw up was fun, but uh, it was easy. Unless you're into that sort of thing. Oh yeah, um, I am not. But anyways. <laughs> Besides that, it's been good. I feel good today. Um, don't know what the fuck was wrong with me. I really think it was just what I ate. Um, because I don't know, my body's weird like that. Like, even if I'm like drinking, like if, like if I drink a lot, my body's like, "Hey, dude, you've reached your alcohol limit. You should go throw up now." And I'm like, "All right, <laughs> you know, thanks, body, for telling me not to fucking keep that shit inside and have a." terrible hangover next day that's good yeah and at least you listen to it because most people will fight it and that usually ends up being worse yeah no fuck that i don't want to throw up in my uber ride home yeah if your body's telling you to go throw up you should probably go throw up yeah like that's legit your body telling you hey asshole you're not okay right now we need to purge and get this shit cleansed mm -hmm. now yeah and besides it it doesn't make it better if you hold it in yeah Probably gonna hurt yourself. It's, yeah, it probably just adds more on top of that. Like, mm -hmm. it makes you heave like bleh, with more force. Mm. To anyone who doesn't like that sound, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> to anyone who doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. I thought they would have tuned out by the. I need you to. Time we I need you to am amplify that sound oh, yeah, every time we say it. <laughs> she. Put a noise. Put a noise warning right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little volume alert. But cheers, man. Yeah, cheers, and remember, you don't have to drink to chill with the pub crew. But it helps. It helps. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. It's not barrel aged. Is it barrel aged? Whoa. Dude. Like, I get, like you can taste the alcohol, but it's not like. It is. Although it doesn't say that. Uh, scan the QR code below to learn about... I'm not going to do that. Texas collaboration with Garrison Brothers. Straight bourbon aged in Garrison Brothers. Mm. Bourbon, yeah. Wow. All that, right. It has a bite to it. Because, like, it doesn't say on the front. Oh, it does say bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whoops. But does it say it on the back, 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 back? Wait, it says it on the front. <laughs> Smaller print says in the back. Oh, okay. In the front, if I had just looked right above Double Bach, it yeah. says barrel aged. Thanks. That's Doja on me. Cat. Shout out Doja Cat. Yeah. But damn, now that this beer's out of the way, which is going to kick our ass, what are we talking about today besides our <laughs> nasal badges and whatever the fuck I throw uh, ups? Lavages. Thank <laughs> you. Nasal lavages and casual throw ups. There's no down below. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we had we shared an experience this weekend. Oh yeah, it was heartwarming. Yeah, I fucking waited ten years for that moment. We saw Clerks Three. Yeah, it was amazing. Clerks Three was like the only movie that I had been looking forward to this d decade, and the only one you've seen in the past year. Yeah, <laughs> fucking probably like five years. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to go that far. Back. No, yeah, no, you've seen a movie. You've seen no, probably Sonic. three. Oh yeah, I saw Sonic. Oh like, God, the whole way me. through. Right? Yeah. Instead of just watching, like, 20 minutes The middle, of it at a time. and then the end, and then the beginning, back to the middle. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was super cool. Clerks 3 was amazing. Um, I don't want to be super critical of the movie. 
because like i i get that i'm seeing it through like a super fan's eyes yeah so my gripes might be like a little bit different than other people's um but overall it was a great fucking movie i cried i teared up i'm not gonna lie like after i don't want to fucking spoil should we spoil should we just be like put a big spoiler warning right here spoils spoiler warning spoils of war um i don't know i feel like if you're like a kevin smith super fan you've already seen it and if you're not then you're probably not gonna see it so i can talk about it that's true you know We'll we'll put a disclaimer. Yeah. This, consider this your official spoiler warning. Like yeah. we're gonna talk about it for a little bit because we gotta. I I teared up. Yeah. A couple of times. Yeah. Even I was like, "Fuck Kevin Smith." Yeah. Fucking Kevin Smith. Mm-hmm. Um, we missed the first few episodes. Minutes. Episode. Yeah. What did they say? Episode. Said time. Episodes. Fuck. We missed the first <laughs> few like, minutes. I'm sorry, I was thinking of the, we the, anima- <laughs> the animated clicks. <laughs> Which, on that note, I love that they actually made references to the mm-hmm. animated series. Yeah, it was super fun. Um, <laughs> we missed the first few minutes. Yeah. And uh, I don't know how much it affected what we were going to see of the movie, but the movie still fucking got me. Um, yeah. There's a whole point, and I called it. I fucking called it. Let's start off with that. I'm all over the place because I don't know what the fuck to start with. Are you going to go back to the episode where you called it? No. I don't remember what episode that was. <laughs> wait. I, I think do. we called it Clerks 3 something. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wait. I think we actually called the episode talking about yeah. it. It's probably yeah. the episode you called it in. Yeah. And um, I did say that it wouldn't be Clerks if something terrible didn't happen to Dante. And I was fucking 100 percent on the money on that unfortunately yeah right yeah i've never been so happy to be so sad in my life and um well i don't want to spoil too much i do want to i don't want to like say explicitly what happens yeah but, uh i will say that like wow it was like a big i don't know if they said it at the beginning of the film because we didn't fucking see it but when you fucking see everything go down like it gets pretty fucking emotional. It really does. Like I uh I didn't expect to get that many feels from this movie. Yeah. I know I went there for the we jokes, the dick jokes, the puns. Yeah. They were all there. They were Oh yeah, they were definitely there. But there was a lot of feels that I was not ready for. Mhm. I think that's what stood out the most that I was like, how dare you? I think my one of my my gripes was like you're trying to reel in from the sadness and then all of a sudden here's a funny joke and then they try to segue back into the story. I'm like, no, no, stop. Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to give too much away either, but like it was uh it was cool hearing from Kevin Smith about Clerks Three. Yeah. And what his vision was for the original Clerks. Mm-hmm. And that that's what this movie is, is his, I guess, his actual rendition of what he wanted Clerks to be. Yeah. Or to see you, to have have you see what he saw when mm-hmm. making Clerks. Oh, man, it was so good. Yeah, and that's I think that's what was pretty cool. Like, after hearing that from watching it was really cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, the pacing of it was a little bit weird. I definitely think that, like, near the end, you were sort of, like, exhausted with how many, like, string pulling it did. Yeah. Especially if you were somebody who was invested in the whole series as I was. And uh, <clears throat> I do want to start by saying it. it's not, like, uh, it's not a Jay and Silent Bob movie. No. Like, it's, it's a Clerks movie. Mm-hmm. And the fact that... People don't see it as that because people think of Kevin Smith. They think of Jay and Silent Bob. They think of all the funny shit, all the dumb shit, all the crude shit. But I feel like what people don't really get is that Kevin Smith has really been writing these about his life and everything that's been going on in the past 10 years. So the fact that it got super fucking real should only be like... uh, a result of the shit that happened in Kevin Smith's life, which, mm-hmm. you know, 
you know, he did have a heart attack and he lost all that weight and he's freaking healthy now and shit like that, which is dope. Yeah. Still making movies, still doing his projects, which is cool. Yeah. But he's he puts all that stuff in his movies. And I want to say as like the final, I don't want to say the final chapter, but the third act of like that saga of like the clerk saga. Like it was, it was good. It was like the the culmination of twenty fucking years. Like you know what I mean. The and that's like over everything. Like like we mentioned, it does reference the animated series, which is funny because it's not canon. Yeah, but at the same time, it's there's references. Mm-hmm. Like to like if you know the animated series, you're like oh fucking what? <laughs> yeah, like you wouldn't have known that otherwise like that's where they made these jokes that's where they made these references and i was like that's cool so it's like acknowledging like yeah everything you've seen clerks is here jay and silent bob included because mm-hmm. you're right it's not a jay and silent bob movie but they are part of it yeah and that's established but like i know one thing people are like well how come there was more like this jokes or more fucking jay and silent bob because it's not their movie yeah they're part of it Yep, yep. It's not their movie. They already had their sequel. Yeah. Maybe a third? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? In 10 years, we'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> right? We'll check back in a decade. Mm-hmm. But we'll it, have more beer. Yeah, but it was a crazy a crazy movie. I mean, now, now that we talked about a, li- a little bit, I feel like we can go into super big spoilers now. Um. Well, as, like, as we mentioned, Kevin Smith had a heart attack, and, I mean, it's in the fucking trailer, so I guess it's not really spoilers, but... Oh, that Randall, um, Randall has, has a heart attack. Yeah, that's legit yeah, the he's, intro. He's like, that's the reason why they're making the film, and it's super crazy, and it, it happens sort of like you expect any Clerks movie, where um, Randall's just very self-absorbed, and Dante's like, I'm not even supposed to be here today. Uh, and stuff like that and then it just evolves into something super fucked up <laughs> right <laughs> although it's supposed to be a <laughs> it turns into something fucked up but it was supposed to be an homage to randall's life which that's a play on that i think this is it's supposed to be you know an homage to kevin smith yeah clerks it's it's playing that story up yeah because he wrote the script for clerks with him playing randall in mind that's yeah. why he got all the funny lines in the first movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he realized it was too hard to do it or some shit like that. Yeah, so uh, that's why he made Silent Bob. Yeah. Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> and he plays himself. Yeah. <laughs> and it's super cool. And the, the, the reference that people make and like the, the meta-ness of the Clerks 3 film is so fucking crazy. Like just how fucking meta it is and how much they can break the fourth wall without having to break it like they just like yeah. mention it um <laughs> it was a fucking like the only times that silent bob talked like that became sort of like different i don't know if you noticed no but, like very much silent bob started talking more and now it's the the new guy that's like the silent one mm-hmm. and that's super crazy to me because that i never thought that they would like have a continuation of that shit where now there's another duo. Yeah. They're like, the but they're just weird. Yeah. <laughs> was it Elias and I don't remember his. Name. I don't remember his name I don't either. The, the friend's name, but he's like, he's like the new Silent Bob. Cause he doesn't say shit until the very end of the fucking movie. Yeah. And even Randall's like, he can talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he talks. Yeah. Those are the fucking kites. <laughs> Yeah, oh, the fucking fuck. kites, dude. That shit was oh, funny as hell. But yeah, oh man, and like they brought a lot of people back. They brought almost so everybody back. So many people. I, I, I don't know who else they. Did. I don't know who they didn't bring. Mm-hmm. Oh, the the egg lady. Oh no, the the milk lady. But they they played a. That yeah, well they made the reference. Kevin Smith's daughter played the new clerk or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, and she was the, the milk lady. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like um, 
Oh, I just like the continuation of it. Like, oh, this shit never really ends. Like, nope. there's the guy taking like selfies with the egg instead of like just checking them out and all that nice stuff. Nice taking selfies. Yeah, I it's thought it was all super just funny. Change. Yeah. And I think that's what Kevin Smith, because he even goes on to say, like, at the end of the movie, you know, <laughs> that uh, the movie, like, he goes, like, this job would be better if it weren't for the fucking customers. Yeah. And then he goes on to say, you know, this movie wouldn't be possible without the fucking customers. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's true, because that's where everything fucking comes from. Mm-hmm. And they even make that joke in the movie where it's like, oh, we're going to have to get these people back. And then Randall's just like, no. Just leave the store open. Just let him come in, yeah. <laughs> and it's it's just gonna film itself. Like, yeah, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool. I thought it was really sick. Mm-hmm. I, I loved a lot of parts. Like I said, I I'm not too. I don't have a lot of gripes with that movie. I feel like I'm I'm just being very nitpicky as somebody who was like a fan for 25 years and all that right. shit. So I definitely don't think, like, the movie itself, like, some of the plot points did seem a little, like, too convenient, but that's what a fucking movie is, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's not, it's not a fucking, like, real life interpretation of what fucking life is, you know? Yeah, Clerks is just that. It's mm-hmm. To play on it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I didn't, I didn't get too mad about some of the, like, pacing stuff, some of the, like, um narrative i don't want i don't know how to say it it's like the the way that kevin smith went about stuff like because i can't think of better ways to fucking do it so that's why i'm not criticizing it you know what i mean true <laughs> like i'm not a fucking writer get an email from kevin smith you do better you fucking yeah you fucking exactly who bitch showman <laughs> over here on your podcast you think you can do better yeah <laughs> oh, shit. that's why exactly how i would react to yeah. fucking kevin smith telling me shit well that's really how i'd react to anybody telling me shit yeah in a very nonchalant like yeah go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> like just because i idolize you doesn't mean i'm fucking gonna let you talk shit to me <laughs> so, man, i'm gonna let you st- talk to me that way mr smith although i do respect you yeah but you can go fuck yourself respectfully of course sir <laughs> exactly so yeah i don't <laughs> like i said it's all very nitpicky stuff the film itself is is pretty good. Uh, the song choice is really good. Yeah, um, there's it, just so, it's just so crazy. Like the the dialogue is really funny. Um, there's like there's moments where you're like, that shit don't happen in real life. But then you're like, that does happen in real life. Like you don't think oh donkey shows don't happen in real life, but they do happen in real life. Yeah. Like fucking meeting up with your ex after ten years and then ended up banging <laughs> in the fucking SUV. Yeah, crazy. I know. Shit's wild. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who wrote these fairy tales? Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-seven. <laughs> That's twenty-one days in a row. <laughs> That's what my favorite line was. Um, you don't look a day over thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fucking great. Yeah. <laughs> and it had a lot of zingers. It had a lot of great fucking one-liners. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't. It, it's it's so crazy to me that like it's meant so much to me. Somebody who doesn't watch fucking movies, uh, to watch a film <laughs> from somebody who fucking loves movies. You know yeah. what I mean? Yes, no, fucking no joke. I was going to say, my favorite reference was to the animated series. <laughs> they go into the fucking walk-in freezer. And Dante, ooh, it's hot cold back here. I was like, uh. <laughs> it's like when like, the first episode of Randall walks in and he goes, it's cold back here. Hoth cold. <laughs> I was like, hey. Yeah, they're really, they really brought it all together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was during, like, a very emotional part of the movie, but it was great. <laughs> my, f- oh, dude, my favorite part was the fucking scene when they're doing, when he's laying down on the fucking cooler, and they're talking, and they're supposed to have that argument. And then oh, just but fucking they had an argument. Devolves. Yeah, dude. That shit was so fucking spot on, man. That, that shit was so fucking greatly written that I was like, no way, like. 
I remember seeing that movie <laughs> in black and white. Yeah. And then when it just cuts to him in color and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, this is different. <laughs> this is different. Like, this is real. Mm-hmm. But it was. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. What, that's when it got real, like, too real, I think. Because, like, I remember when that scene was going on, it was dead quiet. Like, the whole theater was just, like, dead quiet. And I just remember, like, you could tell everyone was just, like, whoa. Like, just feel the fucking emotion on that. And, like, the reality of set, like, what's sitting in and what's happening. You're, like, yeah, oh, shit. Like, I think that's how you know a scene's good when everyone just shuts the fuck up. Yeah, for real. Especially in, like, a theater. Everybody was pretty loud. Yeah, because, I mean, there's jokes, people Mm -hmm. talking, everything. And then, like, just, I remember when that scene was gone, it was just fucking quiet fucking dead quiet like this, this is serious <laughs> that's how you know it's a good scene because the audience fucking respects they real. ate it up dude yeah dude it's fucking crazy yeah i want to see it again <laughs> i want to see it again too but i think well it was just a limited run wasn't it i think so like it was just that weekend i think or so. just this weekend whatever i'd have to double check Cause remember, I think we saw it on like the last day, and I didn't see any other show times unless they're gonna do a second run or hopefully it comes out to digital soon. Oh, uh, I don't know. If I'm not mistaken, every time like a movies in theaters, it's like forty five days before it comes out. Yeah, I mean it's on fucking. You can buy it on Prime Video. That can't be right. Yeah, fourteen ninety nine. Like fuck yeah the, f- the fuck yeah go buy it right now <laughs> <laughs> for real go watch it right now <laughs> does it have the end credits thing that we didn't see <laughs> all the behind the scenes fuck I would hope so I would hope so that'd be pretty cool yeah no yeah was that just that week I don't see any show times that's nuts dude I think that's what Kevin Smith wanted, though. Yeah, he's like only the the worthy. Yeah, like it's fucking limited time. Yeah, no, it's yeah, crazy. it is. That's super cool. But you can buy it on Amazon Prime Video, and if I can keep it forever, I'm gonna buy it. That's crazy. But Wonder why Amazon Prime first. Like of all platforms, are they Paramount? Paramount's Paramount. Oh, they have their own streaming thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. Like, I'm surprised it doesn't what pop would, up. What as, did like, he make it through? It's a good fucking question. Merrimack? Right? Is it still Merrimax? Is it after all this time? After all these years, <laughs> like that. It's a fucking comedy slash dark comedy. <laughs> it's not wrong. That's an accurate like description of it. Yeah. Uh, quick three prediction. Mm. Oh no, it's Lionsgate. It's the distributor. Well, who the fuck's what's Lionsgate on? <laughs> Amazon, apparently. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I, I don't. Uh, that's crazy. Hmm. Huh. Lionsgate. Has made a lot of fucking big shit in the past decade, right? Like, they're the ones who did John Wick. Mm-hmm. 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 That's cool, though. So, yeah, I'm going to fucking rewatch it over and over again as oh. I fucking cry every time. <laughs> Clerks here gets an official Blu-ray and digital release date after its limited theatrical release. Nice. Last week. So, it was very limited. Fuck Yeah. Glad we got to see it. I'm definitely getting that DVD. I'm probably going to get it digitally as well. I don't give a fuck. I just get the combo. Yeah. October 14th. That's like. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, I can wait. Around the fucking corner. I can wait. Yeah. Oh, digital October 14th. And then. Holy crap. And then. Blu-ray. I can't wait. December 6th. I can't wait. Somebody give that to me for my birthday. 
and I'll just buy the digital copy. I need you to forget <laughs> this fucking conversation, Vic. I real will. quick. Are you kidding no me? No one at him in this fucking this comment. Is, this is Pub Crew. I forget our conversations like the week after because we started talking about something else. Fantastic. I already forgot what we were talking about last week. No, I didn't actually because it was about uh, e thotties. And I'll never forget e thotties. You can never. Uh, Me, zoom in on that salute. Oh, I is did. that what we just. Oh, is that what it is? We're not even supposed to be here today. Three decades of Clerks documentary. God damn it. Well, and all because you guys like needed a, to take a no, piss. No, that looks like it's a separate thing. Because that has its own Blu ray release date. Crazy. Either way, oh my it was God, a great me. fucking film. Yeah. October 14th. That's the digital. Mm hmm. Sometimes oh, if you, there's a way to pre order the digital and you'll get a physical copy too. Sometimes. I don't know if this will be one of those times. I just want everything. I hope so. I, sh I just want to be able to buy the physical and then get my digital. And then have both of them. And then watch mm, them. Both of them. Both of them. Yeah. Take it with you everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I found an 8 inch tablet at my house. And like nobody was using it. And I'm like, Where cool. did it come from? Where did it go? Where did it go? Cotton Eye Joe. That's not. <laughs> um, no, I think my mom bought it like fucking years ago for something. But she never used it. So it's just been laying around there. I don't even think it was like a year. I think it was like fucking six months ago. She just really? Never opened it up. So I'm like, hey, can I borrow this? And she's like, okay. <laughs> what is it? Don't worry about it. Yeah. You're not easy. No, I'm just, I, I'm like laying there watching stuff. I'm like, all right, time to go to sleep. <laughs> just throw it. <laughs> <laughs> don't need that anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I've been watching stuff now because I've been trying to get a lot more, I want to say inspiration from other mediums. So I've been trying to look at stuff, trying to play a whole lot of different games. I've been playing Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Nice. Yeah. The I've only got I've only gotten T-posed twice. <laughs> In how many hours? Uh, it's been like six hours, seven hours. It's a healthy that's not amount. bad. Yeah, it's a healthy amount. That's not bad. I did, however, put it on hard, which is fucking ridiculous. Why would you do that to yourself? Because it's. I wanted it to be fun, and apparently, it means not fun. Nope. And you just shoot at them fucking three more times than you're supposed. I hate that. I hate when the difficulty slider is like how much ammo you're gonna use. Yep. Like it's not anything more. That's than not. That. That's not difficulty. That's just tediousness. So I might switch it back to normal because I did like my first um, couple of missions and it was OK. But then I started doing like the like the events that are in the city. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, this is eight people. And all I have is this pistol, this shotgun and a katana. Good luck. I have a perk for a pistol, but the pistol sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, you scrub. And even with like headshots, it takes up like a third of their damage, like their health. Yeah. Fucking, I don't know. I don't know if you ever played. Like, did you ever play Silent Hill three, or any of the Silent Hill? I've games? played one and two. I don't think I've ever played three. I don't think two had it. One didn't. I know because like it's oh, talking four. about difficulty. Oh. Uh -huh. Four. I don't. Well, four was difficult. Like, I'm specifically talking about three for the reason that. It's because that one I remember had two difficulty choices. And what I mean by that is there's the game difficulty, which is the mobs or anything that you will come across. And then there was puzzle difficulty. And you got to set both of those. Oh. So you could play easy and then hard. So easy game, hard puzzle. And those would affect different things. That's cool. No, because hard mode for puzzle was stupid. Oh, like that makes sense. Like, to break it down, and, and this sucks, because it's <laughs> legit, like, beginning of the game. You, you come across your first puzzle pretty quickly in, in a library. I remember it had to do with books. 
And so like the normal puzzle, right, is just, oh, you have to collect four Shakespearean books and they're four volumes of Shakespeare's works. And you just have to put them in order. One, two, three, four. Find them, organize them, done, right? The harder you go, the more detailed it gets where it's not that simple. Now they're not numbered. Now you have to find out which one was before the other. Oh, okay. And then the hardest difficulty requires you to know Shakespeare. Oh, hell yeah. Like, no Shakespearean work. Now, granted, yeah, of the Shakespeare four, work. two of them, you could probably guess. Because one's like... Uh, Macbeth. One's Macbeth. Two one's three. Romeo and Juliet. And then Otello one's... Two Cities. And then Otello. Oh, okay. And I forgot what the fourth one was. And then... Um... Like, the road by Jack. <laughs> I'm just yeah yeah, yeah no, that, that's the fourth one yeah that was the fourth one that's that's right you're sorry you're right. <laughs> sorry, I just love naming other fucking classic pieces of literature and seeing when somebody stops me like, dude, that's not. That's not uh, I'm not gonna argue. With it. <laughs> yeah yeah no that was that, that was famous. Mm-hmm. Like so it'll have parts of the book like quotes. Oh, from the book like that's from, cool. from each story. Yeah. So in no specific order, there's they're not numbered. And the this is how fucking difficult puzzle mode, like like on the hardest. So you have to find which one it is, right? And then associate which one with which book. Then you have to. There's another fucking category, like another thing they add into that same puzzle where you have to get the actual number and the oh, volume shit. in Roman numeral. Then you can go put it into the shelf the right oh, way. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, that's how librarians do every day, dog. What you fucking... So this game, you have to become a librarian yeah. to get past the first puzzle. I'm it's an, it's down. less than an hour into the game. Fuck. I'm down. I had a hot librarian growing up. I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> Was it also in a fucked up, scary... Yeah, you know, actually, yeah. yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> My, well, yeah, never mind. Yeah, yeah you're right. <laughs> I don't have to finish that sentence. Yeah, no. But yeah, like, nah. le- le- <laughs> levels and like difficulty in games have like changed. Like some modern games do it right, I feel. But there's some where it's like, oh, it's not really hard. It's just you're gonna have to take more shots. It's just bullet sponges. That's all it is. Yeah. There, there wasn't a difficulty. Well, that's aspect. the same. That's the same problem I had with the division. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like. <sighs> just so much like bullet sponging Mm -hmm. so i might turn it down to normal even though that's gonna like remove revoke my hardcore gamer card i might for cyberpunk (laughs) already (laughs) fucked game yeah sure that's the game that's gonna revoke your card yeah yeah oh it's cd project red they're barely fixing cyberpunk and they already announced witcher what Four? four yeah I don't know. Call that a conspiracy, but it's like, guys, they were already hurting from the lawsuits from Cyberpunk, so they had to push back all the updates that would have potentially made it good mm-hmm. early on, because they were going against all these accusations and you know fucking all these charges, and then their source code got stolen, which then they used that to say we have to push all this stuff back again. Yeah. Then it only recently started getting updated, and it was good. Yeah. And then Witcher 4. Everybody knows fucking <laughs> the fucking legal team is the same as the programming team. Yeah. Because the legal team would d- definitely dictate why they couldn't release their DLC on time or their PS5 compatibility version on time or you. any of these patches that were going to come out months after the game came out and then got pushed back to nearly a year. Legal team mm-hmm. definitely had a call on that yep. one. But Witcher Four definitely, you know. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, do it. That's coming out. That's coming out on time, it. guys. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Just saying. I love The Witcher, <laughs> but I can take their priorities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> What's up? It's only because I've only played one and two. Three was good. Well, that's what I. That's what people tell me, and I'm like, okay, but you shouldn't. That's like fucking. 33% of the franchise. You're telling me I can't play the other 66% without somebody going like, ah, well, it was of its time. Like, that's not... I didn't say uh, it was of its time. I, like, I not, said three, it's, 3 was good, too. Yeah, but, like, 1 and 2 are fucking terrible gameplay-wise. Well, 1 specifically. Yeah, because it's of the time. 
<laughs> even for the, the time, motherfucking time, <laughs> even for the time, they should have had better fucking like gameplay mechanics in that. Wasn't like, it compared to Skyrim at one point? Because it didn't come like out the around lowest, the same time. I don't think the first one came around around the same time as Skyrim. Second one? I think it, I thought it was three. I thought three and Skyrim came around around the same time. Look, all I know is both have had re-releases. And they've been out for a long time. That I feel at this point, yes, <laughs> you're probably right. It's probably the third one. Yeah, I know the first one. That's the one everyone says is rough. Second one was okay. That's what I've been told, and I'm like, <laughs> you can't, you can't shoot one out of three and tell me that it's a fucking great series. A great game, maybe, but not a great series. Like, like I would never consider Elder Scrolls a, a great series. I would consider Oblivion a great game. I would consider Morrowind a great game. I would consider Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But like, I'm I would not, consider Skyrim. I'm not gonna say like Daggerfall and Redguard stories or whatever the fucking us. Like spinoffs were, yeah, or arena, arena or yeah. any of that stuff. Like, I'm not gonna say that was amazing. That was a product of its time, and some of it kind of fucking sucked. But that's because people didn't know any better. I feel like The Witcher came out in the mid 2000s, where people kind of knew better. Do you want to know what game was definitely of its time, but is still great these days? Mighty Final Fight. Do you want to know what other game? Oh yeah, sure. of its time. Yeah. But still good. Yeah. Doom. Original Doom? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's fucking easy. You don't have to aim up or down. You just shoot. Yeah. Just do the shoot. So by by that definition, it aged well. Yeah. I mean, the, the gameplay is easy enough. Yeah. yeah. I could hand well, well, Doom to an eight-year-old, and they'd be like, this is cool. You could play it on anything. Yeah. You could it's play been it on, played the on fucking, anything. You could play it on a fucking golf cart. You could play it on a pregnancy test. You could play it on your fucking mom. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you just got burned by pub crew. <laughs> burn, burn, burn. Oh, we don't, do we have an air horn? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like how you said, do we have an air horn? And, and you found magically it. hit the air horn. In my mind, wow. you gotta understand the process of elimination. When I'm like, it's not these three, that's not that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the bottom one is. Uh, oh, that's, it that's when we're talking about money. There you go. <laughs> now, now I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I was like, wait, we do have an arrow. <laughs> Where were we? We're talking about uh, how great Clerks was. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, Silent Hill 4 was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Silent Bob 4. <laughs> Sil- Silent Bob 4, the Janing, was okay. Yeah. Doesn't compare to the sequel. <laughs> the room. <laughs> the room. Oh my god. Yeah. Point is, Kevin Smith, if you want to come on the show, we're more than happy to have you. Uh, we'd love to talk clerks with you. We'd love to talk Jay and Silent Bob with you. On that note, Jay and Silent I'd, Bob, if you want to come on the show. I'd love to talk about um, chasing Amy with you. Cause like man, that finger puppet thing like that's gotta come from like real life, right? Like the Chinese trap. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me you weren't curious at one point in your life. Like. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act. Yeah, like it'd be you. super fun. We're we're super fans, so it'd be yeah. really it'd be really cool. Um, somebody at that at them. Um, at at but don't at the at ats. Yeah. Then the Empire gets involved. Oh, well. shit. Was that your Sith voice? I, I was I was thinking about <laughs> it. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Am I on the wrong side? <laughs> like, no, the Sith would be okay with that. <laughs> yeah, but do I want to be on the Sith side? <laughs> I feel like you made that choice. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> this power has absolute... <laughs> oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> Palpatine does karaoke <laughs> I'm doing it I'm doing it I'm doing it wow 
And you say he's just a friend. <laughs> but you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. Got what I need, Skywalker. <laughs> Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, just make the last ten minutes Palpatine joke. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Unless Kevin Smith wants to come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Smith, do you want to come on the show and make Palpatine jokes? <laughs> make whatever. We can add Jar Jar into it too. Make it happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I might die a little inside, but I'll make it happen. <laughs> Speaking of dying a little inside, uh, <laughs> yeah, like the, the the third act for Clerks Three was fucking gut wrenching. Oh, for real? That was that was nuts. It was nucking. It was like it was like the Chekhov's gun of heart attacks. Yeah, like that was nuts. <laughs> Chekhov's heart attack. I had a Chekhov the other. I don't think I understand that word. <laughs> You like you and somebody else struggling to pay for a bill, so you guys didn't check off. <laughs> we checked each other off, yeah. Oh, that's what called it a double family Dutch, all about. Double Dutch rudder. Oh shit, going Dutch. <laughs> they call it. We checked each other off, you know. Said good night. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I'm a romantic that way. <laughs> What you call old fashioned? Oh man! Speaking of old fashions, um, I want one. <laughs> Pretty sure I have the ingredients for oh, dang. An old fashion. I just usually do my whiskey straight. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, not, not that I don't have the ingredients. Pretty sure I do. Okay, I can cut this out if it's not cool. But do like, <laughs> is there like a thing? Where, like, gay people go have my, like, whiskey gay? Is that... <laughs> Thank you for coming to my jokes. Uh, <laughs> they don't land well. <laughs> but, like, yeah. Fuck's sakes, we're trying to be professionals. <laughs> oh, what if it's... Well, I'm just saying. Like, if it's... Like, what if it's just, like, the same thing as, I like... I feel like... Having a whiskey straight, but it's just like a joke. <laughs> I feel like it's a Jerry Seinfeld level of jokage. I, yeah, I know. I was. <laughs> What's the deal with airline food? <laughs> when the gays order when they go to the bar, whiskey gays. <laughs> they wouldn't have their whiskey straight. It's actually a whole lot more funnier than what, how I fucking set it up. Because I, I was just I pictured yeah. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> I was just joke. tired. <laughs> I pictured Jerry Seinfeld pitching yeah. his joke because I'm like it's. To get a few laughs. Yeah. You feature in the beginning of your show. And then... Mm-hmm. And then... Do, 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 do. Fucking Kramer comes in. Whoa, Jerry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> See? And then the show starts. And then mm-hmm. we forget that joke ever existed. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to do now. Boop, <laughs> <laughs> doop, boop. And yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, I know it's not like I'm fucking to do that shit. I've been to enough gay bars to be like, oh, okay. Tequila. <laughs> That's their drink of choice. <laughs> Anytime I've been offered a drink, it's been tequila. Really? Anytime I've gone out and like actually noticed what other people are drinking, like they usually get shots of like tequila and like something else. Do you think it's just because of where we are? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's just a a, a Mexican bias. Yeah, because it's like we're in El Paso, so it's like we go to be like, "Hey, shot of tequila!" Like they already presume, like, "Yeah, you'd want a shot of tequila." Mm-hmm. And to be fair, even if that isn't, you'd probably still take the shot. <laughs> you're like, oh, mm-hmm. okay, I'm, not, "I'm not paying for it." Yeah. Best case scenario, it's good tequila. Worst case scenario, it's, it's tequila. Cheap. <laughs> it's cheap tequila. And you're going to taste it, and it's yeah. not good. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> it just reminds me of that dude who hit on me. <laughs> well, he bought you your food, or he was going to buy you your food. He did. He did? Yeah. Oh, shit. 
and well, he I, bought you your yeah food. i felt super bad because i was like i want to get out of here so did as he. quickly as possible so did he ah. <laughs> <laughs> Same intentions that you oh, yeah. had. Man. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to go alone. <laughs> no, that definitely wasn't his plan. Yeah. No, my favorite part was going up to my friend or our friend and just being like, hey, I need you to take a solid for me. <laughs> like, just just be fluid with me for like yeah. five minutes. Yeah. And it was funny because like, I just hid behind her and I was doing like all the things of like, hey, this is my date. <laughs> yeah i'm sorry this is not it's not that into you <laughs> i was watching from a distance mind you i didn't know what was going on but i was making sure you guys were okay yeah i was just like yeah. yeah my favorite part was when i introduced her and the guy was like oh <laughs> and i was like damn the realization of oh yeah and i was like you know what this is, this is nice I like that. <laughs> Girl, I see. I understand your struggles now. And yeah. I apologize. Mm-hmm. That this is what you must deal with. Yeah. Nightly. Mm-hmm. Daily. Yeah. But yeah, it was super funny. This is why they say safety in numbers. <laughs> but yeah, it was super funny. Uh, I can't believe like that guy picked me out of everybody there. That was super fun. I was like, you know what? It's kind of like when <laughs> I told my friend if he wanted to go to the gay bars, and he was like, no. One, I don't want to get hit on by a gay guy. Two, I don't want to not get hit on by a gay guy. <laughs> I either can't handle the pressure or I'm going to be very sad. <laughs> There's no in between. Yeah, and I, and I thought that shit was so fucking funny. Because like, I just want to go have a good time. I just want to go hang out with friends, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's not till the end of the night that like this guy just comes out of nowhere like very aggressively. <laughs> I thought it was super funny. <laughs> Until you realize what was going on. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, you're my date for tonight. Mm-hmm. And she's like, Alright. <laughs> I need it I need an out. <laughs> And just him going, oh, yeah, like just his whole demeanor fucking changed. Like he was the just realization like, of, oh, yeah, and it wasn't even like a that oh, it was like a ugh oh, disgusted, yeah, like oh, you're with this girl, but <laughs> I already bought you your food. <laughs> I told him, bitch. I told him. I was like, no, it's fine. We're gonna get our own food. This is my friend, you know, trying to be like, simple. trying to be polite, You're trying to be polite, trying to trying to let him down nicely. Yeah, but fucking guys are persistent. Mm-hmm. Women, we apologize. <laughs> Vic had to had to deal with that first time. Yeah, that was that was fun, man. <laughs> a, a ten out of ten so, would do it again. What were you doing an apology? A ten out of ten, <laughs> do it again. Oh, should I do it again? <laughs> Cheese. I'm just kidding. I feel like it's just because it happens so like rarely to me that I don't mind it. That you're you're taking it more of a compliment. Yeah. Oh, definitely. But it's also more the realization of, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> they could have gotten worse. <laughs> like, had it not been for us being there, probably could have gotten a little weird. Just saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that's what happens when you get food from a food truck. Downtown. Uh, downtown. At 2 2.30, yeah. Oh, it's 30 a.m., yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the risk you're going to have to take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And hey, he was nice. You know, I'm not going to talk shit yeah. on him or anything like that. I just wasn't interested. Mm-hmm. Which is, like, should be a thing that, like, tells people, hey, maybe I should back the fuck up. <laughs> maybe no men fucking no. I mean... Yeah, I mean that's that's all. Like for me, the thing is, when I start talking to people, I always assume they're taken. Like that's hmm. that's how I get around the whole social anxiety idea between me and a girl, or you know what, whatever the fuck is going on. Bless you. Thank you. If I like somebody, I'm gonna act like if they're already in a relationship, because until it's until they're proving guilty. True. Until they're proven single, they're they're in a relationship. You know what I mean? No, guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
and, and it just makes it easier for me because I realize that I'm a very social person and I don't know when I'm crossing the line. You know what I mean? So I, I, yeah. I, I definitely take some time to be like, all right, talk to this girl. Like if she had a boyfriend, don't fucking, you know, like be a gross motherfucker. You know what I mean? And that's it. Like it, it usually works out well for me. And by the end of it, they're like, hey, like. Like, do you want to, like, share another drink, or do you want to fucking do all this shit? Like, fucking, what the fuck? You know what I mean? One, take one at the ass, you know? Yeah. Do you want to get pegged? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Consent is key. Yeah, what do I get out of this? <laughs> uh, the pegging, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the description. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my point being... <laughs> Don't get pegged without consent. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, that's all it is. It's all about consent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, like, fucking gay people hitting on you is, like, the, the nicest thing ever. Like, I've never had a gay person hit on me and have it be rude or, like, disgusting. Like, I've, I've had some dude, gay dude come up to me and be like, I'm going to suck your dick dry. <laughs> Contrary to what most people might think the experience might be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What people are afraid of what would yeah, happen. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Like, yeah. you have to be so self-absorbed to think that that's going to fucking happen to you. You know I, what I, I mean? I think that's funny where it's like, that's why people won't go like, oh, my brother would get hit on by this shit. It's like, first of all, you're aware that is highly unlikely yeah. that would even happen. As a straight dude, you're at the bottom tier of like the gay ecosystem as much assumptions that you're making and you feel you could point them out they know when you're not Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah and that just takes you off like their radar to be like well what the fuck would we even bother with you then you go home with low self-esteem saying i don't get any compliments (laughs) (laughs) what's your stupid ass for thinking that way (laughs) exactly oh man i don't know just just go out with the same intent. I just go out to have a few. Just to go have fun. Yeah. yeah. Few in fun ca- yeah, in case you guys didn't know that, we love the gays here at Pub Crew. Mm-hmm. No, we were both there. Then. Yeah, exactly. We, were, we were a whole thing. That's why I was like, it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> just at the end of the night, I was like, oh. Oh. And you were like, I'm oh. tired. I'm not going to go over there. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> just just holler. Holler if you need help. <laughs> Holla if you need a bitch. Mm-hmm. I'll be over here. Oh, over here waiting. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted those fries. Dude, those fries were amazing, man. Those carne asada fries. Fuck. You didn't have to pay for them, so I bet. They I did it. They better. tasted like glory. <laughs> <laughs> Made it all the better. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Made me feel great. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> See? So you could have that confidence booster. Yeah. You're right. You just got to <laughs> roll the dice. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because, I mean, I like going. Because, like, fucking, they have always have good music blasting. Like, everybody's True. dancing. Like, shit True. is actually, like, hype. You know what I mean? Like, I like going there and just being, like, like that kid from, from the meme that's just, like, with the, with the shades. Oh, yeah, the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> like, I want that to be me. <laughs> I've been that trash before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and not only that, like women feel safer around those bars. Like it's 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 just better for everybody. I think. Yeah. And like only your fucking and I hate to say this for some people, but like their ego of like being straight gets in their fucking way. From enjoying a good fucking night. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Definitely. And on that gay note, <laughs> we will, but gay in the happy sense. Yeah. Oh, whatever. I try, I'm trying to make the jokes work here. I'm trying to make the jokes work. There you go. I'm cashing in <laughs> on all of this. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys have a great freaking evening thank you so much for joining us uh we're gonna leave you guys with that um thank you all for tuning in you have a good night see you all next week check your heart oh i was gonna play like when like they're playing off the sitcoms and like there's the audience but like it looks like they're talking but they're not talking i'm just gonna play it off like in credits roll
It's like that. It's like that. Uh, <laughs> that inch. I was doing my own thing over here. <laughs>